Hi, I'm Mark from ablepaws.co.uk and these are the three step foam pet steps from ZNM or Zavanoma. And we're gonna take a look at how well they work, their quality and their practicalities. So by the end of this video, you will know whether these pet steps are right for you, your pet and your specific circumstances. Okay, so before we take a closer look at these pet steps from ZNM, we need to get it unboxed and we need to get it put together. So let's do that now. So you'll see that these pet steps come uh, vacuum packed and it does say in the guide that this will need 48 hours to fully expand. So it's always a good idea to get the cover on before this fully expands, uh, expands because that's gonna make it a lot easier for you. Okay, so in the box, you get naturally the expanding foam, which is vacuum packed. You get the cover and it looks like they've thrown in there a lint roller, and that's just to get the pet hair off of your pet steps um, once they're assembled and once your dog starts using the steps. Okay, so in the box you get the, naturally the steps themselves, the high density foam, you get the cover, which does on first impressions look a really good quality. Uh, this is washable. So to get the cover onto the foam, you need to undo the zip, which runs all the way around. Like so. Okay, so once you've got the cover on, we now need to do the base up and the zip. So the key here is not to put too much strain on the zip. Um, so the best way i found is to just get your knee into the foam to compress it down. So naturally along this side, it's relatively easy. So, on the side. I'm just going to put it together, just get around that corner. Okay, so we're just trying not to catch the, the foam underneath. Put it together and work your way along. And then, and then that's in. So as you can see, there's still a bit of loose uh, material there, and that's because this hasn't fully expanded. So this will take around 48 hours to fully expand. Okay, so that's it assembled. Let's take a closer look at these pet steps. Okay, so let's take a look at these pet steps in a little more detail. So they're, um, as you can see there in the assembly, they are a, a foam, so, but it is a very high density foam. So you can see there that these pet steps are really firm. They haven't actually fully expanded yet because I've just put the cover on. So there is still a little bit of uh, movement there in the material. In terms of the material, I really, really like this feel of the material. I think it looks good as well. It's machine washable, so this can come off. Um, the only thing is, as you could see there during the assembly, you do need to fight with it a little bit in terms of getting the, the cover onto the foam. So I don't know how practical that's gonna be if you want to wash this once a week, for example. You do get a lint roller supplied with the pet steps, so any pet hair can be rolled off, but you are going to want to wash this probably periodically as well. In terms of the material, uh, it comes in three different colors. It comes in a blue, a pink, and this gray here. So you can match that in with your uh, decor in the house, which is really nice. It's got a nice velvet uh, side here. And if we take a look underneath, you can see here that this is a, uh, a washable, or wipeable material. And these pores here on the, on the base of the, the pet steps are a rubber, a very grippy rubber, and that's to help these uh, steps uh, not to slip on uh, laminate flooring or tiled flooring. So when your, the dog is up on the last step and they kick back, the last thing you want is the pet step sliding away from the bed or the sofa. Um, so first impressions, it really looks good. Um, I do have some doubts about the zip here. Uh, when I was doing it up, um, I'm not sure if you're gonna be taking this off on a regular basis, whether this zip is gonna be 
uh, up to being used many, many times. I mean, time will tell. I will keep the, um, the notes below this video updated. If I notice any long-term problems with it, I will update it below. So be sure to check out uh, the description below this video. Okay, so in terms of the, the height of the steps, so this is really important when you're purchasing pet steps to ensure that you get the right height. So always just measure the sofa or the bed that you want to uh, use your pet steps on. So here I've got 40 centimetres, which is around 16 inches. And as you can see there, that this pet step actually goes right to the top of the sofa. What you can do is, I could have actually got away here with a two step uh, uh, pet steps because uh, the last step would actually just be the sofa. But because I've bought these pet steps for my Maltese, which uh, she's 10 years old, she's completely blind. What I wanted was for her when she's up on the, the sofa and she wants to come down, she will use her paw as touch to see whether or not the pet steps are there and then she can work her way down. Uh, so that's the reason I've gone level. But if, you, if your dog's um, fully able and sight, fully sighted, then maybe you can get away with having that last step would be up onto the sofa and that will save you a few pounds. So this is 40 centimetres in height. The two step is 30 centimetres and then there's a four step version of these pet steps which is 50 centimetres in height. So in terms of width there we've got 40 centimetres across and pretty much all these pet steps, foam pet steps and even the, the hard pet steps are all around the same width there. Um, in terms of the actual steps as you can see that this is more of a hybrid pet step so it's a cross between a pet ramp uh, and pet steps. So you can see here that these, the steps are actually rounded or curved. Uh, and again, I've used this for my dog because, uh, because of her sight or lack of sight. Um, I didn't want her to have to be stepping up no, onto no, steps. And you. particularly if you've got a breed with very short legs, these yes, hybrid pet steps are really, really good because it gives them almost a ramp, but at the same time, they can feel where they are in terms of of the height and that was really important for me with, with my dog. Okay, so that's pretty much it with the, the pet steps in terms of what they are and the specifications. So I'm gonna now go and get my Maltese, my Lily, and see how well she actually uses and how well these pet steps work. She gets on. Okay, Lily, come here. Good girl. So just plenty of praise. Just introduce her to the pet steps, so even just on the first one. So I'm just gonna offer her up a treat here. So she can see I've got treats, or she can smell, I should say that I've got treats here. So there, I'm just getting her up on the pet steps with the treat. So I just reward her, good girl, she's stepped up on the pet steps, yes, you good girl. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get all four paws up now. There we go, and just here, Lily, Lily, here, here, here. Yes, good girl. So lots of praise, lots of praise for you, because you're a good girl. And then we're just gradually going to work our way up the pet steps, like so. So I'm just tempting her with a tree. Come on, hop. Yes, hop. Hop, 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 hop. Yeah, yes, good girl. Okay, so all positive and no rushing. So here, look, we've got another one here. Yeah. And there she goes. So that's the reason I've gone level. Uh, so I've brought the pet steps level with the sofa so she can come right up. Here, Lily, here. Here, come here. So I'm just making some sounds there. Okay, just slowly, yes, 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 come on, yes, 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 come on, good girl, a bit more, good girl, yes. Okay, so I hope you could see there how easy it was for me to get Lily, um, my Maltese here, to use the pet steps and how useful they are. And um, so over time, she's gonna get more confident with the pet steps. Um, so with these particular pet steps, I always like to go over the pros and cons of every product that I review. So in terms of the pros, I really like the look and feel of the pet steps. The material seems really, really nice. This hasn't fully expanded yet. That's why, as I said earlier, that's why there's a little bit of movement there still in the material. They look fantastic. The curved steps are really perfect for um, breeds with small legs and also with Lily here, who's actually blind. So um, as she can feel there that, that she's going over the edge. So that's the reason that I got these pet steps level with the sofa. 
Um, they're lightweight as well, so if you want to now take these upstairs to your bedroom so that your pet can get up onto the bed, they're, they're super lightweight. Um, the other great thing about these pet steps is that I, let's just get her down, come here darling, um, is that the non-slip surface here, these pads, I, I did, so to be honest with you, have my doubts about how well this would work, but what I've done is I've got rid of the rug that we had here, and as you can see there, that they, I really cannot slide that, that is really, really gripping onto the floor. So if you have a tiled floor or you have a laminate floor, then having a non-slip base like there are on these pet steps is really, really important so that they're not sliding away as the dog gets on that last step and kicks back. So really, really impressed. So that's the, the pros of these pet steps. In terms of the cons, what I would say is there are some pet steps which we'll be looking at uh, a little bit later, which are wooden and they have storage in them. So um, that's gonna be quite useful for putting the toys and that kind of thing in. And also these don't fold flat naturally. They are what they are. If you're gonna not have them out all the time, you're gonna need somewhere to, to store them. Some of the pet steps that we're gonna be looking at a little bit later are foldable. They fold flat and they can just be put into a cupboard. Um, the other thing is the zip uh, on these pet steps. I'm, it was okay. But I can see if you're going to be taking this cover off and washing it regularly, I do think that this zip could cause some issues going forward. But again, we'll see um, over time. I'll keep, keep you updated uh, with regard to the, these pet steps in the comments, or sorry, in the description below this video. Okay, so we've had a look at these uh, foam pet steps. So what I wanted to do is just get a veterinary a perspective on pet steps. So we've got Jason here who is a fourth year vet student and I just wanted to ask uh, him a little bit about pet steps and their usability and whether or not they would be recommended from a veterinary point of view. So Jason, what do you think about the use of pet steps, people using pet steps, pet ramps and these kind of hybrid uh, steps which are not exactly steps but a cross between a ramp and a step? Sure. So yeah, I think they're very good. Uh, they provide a good alternative. Um, if you do want your dog to get onto a sofa or to a bed and they can't jump or you want to prevent them from jumping, uh, this could be for like if they have osteoarthritis or elbow or hip dysplasia and we really don't want them jumping because that can put too much strain on the joints and potentially lead to like a dislocation or something which we really want to avoid. Okay, so what about if your dog is fit, able, um, is young and has no problems or pre-existing pre conditions with joint problems or anything like that, is it okay for them to be jumping up and down on a sofa? Um, so again, case by case basis yep. is important to consider, but if they are healthy then yeah, they can, they, it should be fine so long as it's not too high for them to be jumping. But we do, especially if they're jumping onto a tiled floor or a wooden floor that's slippery, we don't want them to be slipping, which could, again, lead to certain like elbow issues or uh, hip issues. So it would be a good idea just to put like a non-slip mat or something on the floor below where they are routinely jumping, okay. just to give them that support under their paws. Okay, so in that case, there would be no need for pet steps, just basically a non-slip mat. So when they jump down, they're not slipping and injuring themselves. But if your dog does have, a, you want to make that transition between the sofa or the bed to the floor, that much easier then you, would you recommend pet steps yeah i would um i would definitely especially mainly for if they are older dogs with elbow or hip problems or if your dog is completely healthy but it's just too small to jump up onto the yeah. sofa or the okay, bed that's true. and you want them to come up yeah uh, maybe when you're not home etc okay perfect thanks very much no worries Okay, so I hope you found this review useful of these ZNM or Zavorna pet steps. You will notice that there are many uh, foam pet steps available and you may even see this badge on the front. So that's just a, a branding. If you see this badge on the front, then you know that it is actually these, these pet steps. They're made in the same factory. They're gonna have the same material, the same quality, and everything in this review applies. So, um, so watch out for that. And you'll see this brown badge on the front that helps you to identify these particular uh, pet steps and they'll come under different different names. Okay, so as I said on the ablepaws.co.uk website There's a full review of these pet steps and um, I'm also reviewed two other pet steps as well. So there's some uh, Wooden ones uh, box ones that have storage. There's also some plastic ones 
And there's also an article there that explains the pros and cons of uh, the different types of pet steps um, that you can purchase. And that will ensure that you get the right ones first time for your pet, one that's suitable for your pet and your circumstances. So head on over to the, to the website, take a look at those reviews, take a look at the article that explains the benefits and the, the features of pet steps as well. Uh, and that will make sure that you purchase the right products. So if you did find this video useful, please click the thumbs up button below this video. It'd be much appreciated. Also hit that subscribe button as well. So when I release any future videos uh, regarding pet products, uh, you'll get notified of those. Thanks very much for watching. Any questions that you have, please feel free to put them in the comments box below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.